Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to MCW Warzone. We are jam-packed with over 20,000 plus fans in attendance here in the Lone Star State. I just want to give a moment to sit there and welcome the fans. We are right here in Dallas, Texas, the beautiful city that has all the limelight and all the stars here tonight. And we're going to have a great show, but before we start the show, just have to give a little shout out to Texas and we at. You know, Dallas, Texas, very beautiful home of the Cowboys. Nice to be here. And we're going to start things off with the Beast coming down here. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Beast has been in a very, very heated rivalry with Seth Z in a battle of words. Last week led to a pull-apart brawl over Beast coming in here, demanding a world title shot, and was given it to it by the GM. I don't know why was he given the world title shot, but... It's beast mode. I think the fans need to appreciate that someone as big and dominant as this man is walking down the ring and decided to come back to MCW to fight the one and only, the badass in the land of Z, Seth Z. And this is going to be a very interesting match that they're going to have at the Under Siege pay-per-view. But right now, the last week the GM put a no-touch rule on these guys. They are not supposed to lay a hand on each other or serious consequences will happen. I have no idea what the consequences are going to be, but... Him and Seth Z has a no-touch cause, and that means they cannot put their hands on each other. If they put their hands on each other, it's going to be sit there in problems. They can't have no physical contact. They cannot have no physical fist flying. They cannot have no kicks. They, they cannot have nothing. So I have to wonder, what is on the mind of the man known as Beast? Look at Beast using all the pyro in the budget here tonight. Let's see what he has to say on his mind. Oh my gosh, Dallas. Y'all smell like a shithole. Like, I want to puke coming down the fucking entrance. God. Y'all have a fucking shitty team in Dallas. Like, who the fuck are they? They need to the Redskins. God, don't even get me started on fucking Lisa Dante. That white boy is fucking trash. Oh my god. Thank you, Lord. Look at that. I can't stand the stink. That is just a blasphemy and disrespect from Beast. Sitting there insulting the team, insulting America's team. How dare he do that? And thank God for a man like Seth Z is here to shut up the big bastard known as Beast. Now just right here, if you do not know who Seth Z is, he is your MCW World Heavyweight Champion. He was able to beat Zion at the Gold Rush pay-per-view, putting him down through a flaming table to get the one, two, and three. But as soon as he did that, Beast, like a coward, or like a badass, depends how you like to protect. After the match came there, speared Zion through the barricade, looked in Seth Z fat face, called him a bitch, and then hit him with a beast bomb to make a statement that he's coming for the world championship. And then as an insult to injury, he later hit the shot on the next show. I know Seth Z has to be upset, but he needs to realize he cannot put his hands on Beast tonight. Serious consequences will happen. He gets a world title shot. He cannot fall for that for the smartness that Beast has when he's trying to insult Seth Z. He needs to keep cool, keep calm in the face of Beast. I have no idea if he can do that because I barely can't do that when he speaks in the goddamn mic. And there they go, they're in the face talk, exchanging some words, knowing they can't put their hands on each other. Let's start this off with the fact of Z. 
The first fact is you shouldn't even be here in this company. You shouldn't even be considered competition for me. I don't even know why you're here. You were just a waste of mine and everybody else's time. There is somebody better backstage I could be fighting besides you. Fact number two. Beast, you are an overconfident big man with a little you-know-what trying to overcompensate something that you can't fix. And those, what do you call them, those boom-boom headbutts? I am 90% sure that you ate crayons as a kid. Shut your bitch ass up. Your facts are flawed as your career. My cojones is the best, just ask me Selena. The only thing I ate as a kid is destroyed gummies, and that's to keep my strength up. That's how I was able to have a better win-loss record than this whole jobber off. Now you want to bring up wins and losses. Alright, there are two real big losses that you've really been involved in. One was me beating your big crybaby ass at the Retribution Rumble. I really remember that. And two, you being here is a god-awful mistake. You must be brain dead. Retarded is what I would say. The only mistake that I won't regret is headbutting you over and over again. And when you think it to yourself, that it has to be enough. It's not. I'm going to drag your lifeless corpse to these fans and show them that the Arrow Z is dead. Just wait till I see Mama Z. Oh my god, he just insulted a man's mother. Oh my goodness, Seth Z with a stiff right shot to the jaw. A beast, he just sat there and broke the no, the no touch cross. How dare Seth Z do this? But I don't give a damn. As long as it's, as long as it's that big ass idiot, he deserves it. Come on, Seth Z. And here it is, Seth Z, a spear! Breaking big beast back in half. I can't believe it, Seth Z does not give a fuck, he cannot stand the likes of Beast. Oh no, he's taunting him up again. What is he doing? These fans are chanting, he deserves it, he damn well right. Oh my god! Seth Z is completely beating down Beast, he's not done. He's looking for a third one. He wants to add a trifecta and Beast, oh! That coward just need him in the jaw and he's escaping with his life. Regret that. You're gonna hear from my authorities. Hey, Billy, Billy, where you at, Billy? Hey, get over here. Hey, look, 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 I got something to tell you. In your last match, you may have won, but you showed some key weaknesses. I don't want to get rid of that. I don't want to see none of that in your match. That's why you having a money in the bank qualifier, and you need to go out there and show the world who Billy Morgan is. I believe in you. Get the damn W. Coach, I hear what you're saying, man, but, like, I got a match tonight. I got to focus on me. You better be focusing, you better be focusing on how to dodge those submission homes, cause you're going one on one with Elijah Douglas. I've seen videotapes, I've seen all the videos that he ever done. He likes to tap people out. You're gonna need to dodge those submission holds, and you're gonna need to outpower him tonight. I don't wanna see no better, and I wanna see no less. You're the Billy Morgan. You're the man that I train. I picked you as my disciple. I want you to show the world what wrestling is all about here tonight. Coach, everything you're speaking is facts. And tonight, I'm going to go out there and show everyone everything you taught me. Boy, you're so sweet. I almost made an old man cry. If my cataracts wasn't messing with me, I would shed a tear. And ladies and gentlemen, up next we have Billy Morgan versus Elijah Douglas for our opening match, a Money in the Bank qualifier. One of these men is going to move on to the latter match that's going to happen at MCW Under Siege Toronto.
and ladies and gentlemen, this man right here, this handsome hunk right here, this man who's more sharper than a sharpie, he is more chiseled than a statue, this is the most handsome man in professional wrestling, this is Elijah Douglas. Elijah Douglas has, fight, has been in there MCW since day one since the reboot. He's been sitting there racking up wins all screen and now he wants to get a chance against the upstart, the electrocutioner, the electrocution of fun, the excitement, the thunder of excitement, Billy Morgan. I cannot wait to see what these two competitors said. Early on, his coach did tell Billy Morgan to watch out for Elijah Douglas from his nose. And he's damn well right. So Roger Douglas is a key, is a key striker, but he loves to work the long game. He loves to work down the opponent and wait for an opportunity to get the win. He's very, a, he's a very tactical and patient competitor, and I cannot wait to see what he does against the skill set of Billy Morgan. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the electrocuting excitement himself. This is the wacko Billy Morgan. I cannot wait to see him go one-on-one -on -one with Elijah Douglas in this match. This will be a skill. I know Billy Morgan, Billy Morgan has probably the height and weight advantage over Elijah Douglas. But Elijah Douglas has the experience and the quickness over Billy Morgan. So this will be a very interesting contest of speed versus strength experience versus novice you cannot wait to see what both these competitors do when they're inside of a squared circle if i was if i was speaking in terms of elijah devils i need to stay i would get on him quick as possible work the big man to the ground make sure he's on the ground pass him out try and get the w if i was speaking in the reference of billy morgan billy morgan needs to hit big moves and end it quicker the longer it goes the more favor it goes for elijah Douglas. that's what billy morgan needs to do there we go, both guys. And there they go. They're wasting no time. Both guys looking at each other, telling each other to bring it. Here it is. Both guys with a collar hip, 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 elbow tie up. Oh, nice take down by Roger Douglas. He may be the smallest competitor, but he's showing he got some strength of his own. Taking out Billy Morgan, and Billy Morgan able to work under him, get behind Elijah, and slam him down using his strength. This is what you want to see. Technical wrestling know-how. There he goes, Elijah Douglas got a baby more than in the standing vertical head lock right there. He was wrenching the jaw, able to sit there, cut the circulation from the neck to the head. And Billy Morgan used the strength, worked off Elijah Douglas, off the ropes he go. Billy goes over, Elijah goes over. Billy goes over, now he goes under. Here it is. Oh, nice fireman's carry by Elijah Douglas, working down Billy Morgan to the ground. Looking for a snap mill, got pushed off. Here it is, crucifix pin. Did not, hit, did not lock the pin in, but man, that was some athletic know-how by Billy Morgan. Billy Morgan kicks Elijah in the back, but Elijah Douglas is just no selling it. Look at this. Oh, look at the right shot got counted by Billy Morgan. Billy Morgan with that beautiful Billy back kiss. And another one off the star. Falling with a beautiful jumping face. Face. Famouser. Nicely done by Billy Morgan. Billy Morgan connects with a snap now. Working Elijah Douglas on the ground, like I said earlier. Billy Morgan needs to hit big moves. Oh, my goodness. And as soon as I say that, Elijah Douglas able to grab the leg and ricochet him on the canvas. Oh! Now he's targeting the leg of Billy Morgan. Sitting there working on the leg. Always oh, flocking in that single-legged Boston Crab. And nicely done by Elijah Douglas. He's sitting there wrenching it. Billy Morgan's trying to, dra trying to dra drag himself to that bottom rope. But no, oh, wait, he has the power. Oh! Pisses off Elijah Douglas. Able to get him off the leg. And now Billy Morgan's trying to go after him. And he stay on him. Don't let him get no type of recuperation. Look at this. Oh! Nice combination, those left shots, those kicks to the legs. Oh my goodness! Oh, nice ends up dirty! Beautifully done by Elijah Douglas. And there's Elijah Douglas, get him up over the shoulders. Head over there. Oh my goodness, a variation of a go to sleep. Oh, he's not done yet. Off the ropes with a penalty kick off the skull of Billy Morgan. Nicely done. Now Elijah Douglas looking to fly from the top rope. Uh oh, here it is! Looking for the hurricane! Oh, no, got caught in midair! Pops him over! Oh my goodness, what a cutter!
from Billy Morgan. Here it is with the cover. This has to be it. One, two, oh, Elijah Douglas with the experience in the match. They're able to grab his hand on the bottom rope. That is what you want to see from Elijah Douglas. Mm, nice elbow shot. Elbow to the heart of Elijah Douglas. That's what Billy Morgan brings. Look at this Billy Morgan getting Elijah Douglas up. Looking for a nice right, a nice right hook that time. Picks him up, drops him down with an inverted face and Taylor. Nicely done, but Elijah again able to keep his arms in the ropes. That is the inexperience. That is the difference between experience and inexperience. Billy Morgan was able to work the opponent in the right side of the ring, in the middle of the ring, to try and do more damage. There those both guys are exchanging shots left and right. Here it is, nice reverse. Here it is, reverse back, reverse left Russian leg sweep, nicely done. Roger Douglas is going to the top rope. Oh my goodness, connect from the top rope with that jumping, that jumping punch. One, two, oh, Billy Morgan able to get the shoulder up off of a near fall. Roger Douglas jumping from the top rope, delivering a very ecstatic punch to Billy Morgan. And there it is, Elijah is now taunting in the face of Billy. Kicks him in the midsection, punches in the front jaw, kicks him again. Try to look for another kick, looking for another kick. Here it is, connects with a third one. Oh, nice counter by Billy Morgan. Punch him in the ribs, and there he goes with his combination. Oh, back is off the back of the skull. I know, Elijah Douglas able to turn it around. Here it is, work him around, hitting him with a nice little. Oh, look at this guy with a nice little roll up. One, two, and three. Oh, Billy Morgan able to kick out of that time. Nicely done. And Billy Morgan with a right shot of his own guy, Elijah Douglas, wheeling on the ropes. Uh oh, Billy Morgan trying to figure out what he's going to do. Oh, that's nice forearm shot there, Elijah Douglas. And Billy Morgan looking like he's going to fly through that bottom rope. Elbow to the face of Elijah Douglas. Nicely done by Billy Morgan. And Billy Morgan getting Elijah Douglas back inside the ring, trying to figure out what he's going to do. Wait, Billy Morgan's trying to taunt him up. I think he's trying to end it. He's trying to hit that sky high real quick. Oh, wait, no. Oh, nice counter by Elijah Douglas. Able to elbow him in the face. Oh, oh, he's working him down. This is what he was supposed to avoid. And there he goes. Got that nice little bell lock that time. Able to wrench the jaw. Look at this. He's wrenching it back. Will he tap out? Will he submit? No, wait, no. Billy Morgan. Oh, fighting out of it. Able to sit there and deliver a nice right shot to the face of Elijah Douglas. Fighting out of the submission for him. That's what you own. Oh, this is trap. You can hear that in the chair. That vicious chop, you can hear that in the cheap seats. There goes Billy Morgan. He's getting Elijah Douglas up in no man's land. This is the top rope. This is a very unpeculiar si situation right here. You do not want to be up here. And a superplex by Billy Morgan. Sending Elijah Douglas crashing into the canvas. And the center of the ring. This is where you get the pinfall. This has to be it. One. Two. And three. Oh, Billy Elijah Douglas able to get the shoulder up off of a near fall. Oh my god, what does Billy Morgan has to do to put down Elijah Douglas? Oh, he's going to the top rope. Is Billy Morgan planning to fly? And he's about to dive on the Elijah Douglas, pointing to the sky. And he is about to show the world. And Elijah Douglas play possum. And to catch him in another. The bell locks from the top rope. Here it is. He's trying to tap out Billy Morgan. Billy Morgan is getting shot struggling. He's trying to use his weight advantage. He needs to get away from Elijah. Wait. Billy Morgan again, fighting out of the submission hole, hitting him in the jaw for a second time to get out of that move. Oh! Nice super kick by Elijah. Elijah Douglas looking for a grapple. Nice, nice counter by Billy Morgan with an arm drag. There it is, both guys locking up, pushing off Elijah Douglas. Oh, here he is with a beautiful Luke Fez press. This is what you want to see. This is excellent wrestling right here. Both guys are going back and forth. This is for money in a big qualifying spot. These guys cannot afford to quit. And Billy Morgan just, oh, taught it too soon. Drop kick by Elijah Douglas into the face of Billy Morgan. Uh-oh. Elijah Douglas looking for a maneuver, but Billy Morgan able to counter off. Pushing away Elijah. Now Billy Morgan got Elijah up. Oh, exactly where he wants him. Oh, nice elbow shot by Elijah. Elijah looking for some shots of his own. Oh, punches him, turns him around. Looking for a roll up. He can steal right here. I think he tried to grab a little bit of the touch. One, two, and three. Oh, nice kick out by Billy Morgan. Billy Morgan's back on his feet. Elijah Douglas looking for a right shot, but he completely missed. He aimed for air that time. And now Billy Morgan got Elijah Douglas. Oh, nice knee lift to the jaw of Elijah. Got him exactly where he wants him. Nice Irish whip got him off the ropes. Billy Morgan. Oh, the picture perfect drop kick of his own. Paying Elijah Douglas back for his drop kick. And now he is sitting there embracing the fans. 
looking for another forearm shot. But Elijah Douglas is not trying to give up. He's picking him up again for the second time. Go to sleep by Elijah Douglas, and he's not going to be done yet. Connecting with a picture, perfect penalty kick. I think Elijah Douglas is going to try and tap him out, and he's going to damn near do it. Look at this, working the opponent down. Got him again, third time in the match, a LaBelle lock. Uh-oh, Billy Morgan is trying to crawl for that rope. He's trying to get away. He can't breathe. He has to be fading. He has to be fading. No fucking way. Billy Morgan fight out of it. Oh, my goodness, again. Into the jaw of Elijah. And Billy Morgan picks him up. Drop him down sky high. This has to be a one, two, and three. Billy Morgan with a big win. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy Morgan has truly did it all in this match right here. He has sat there and listened to the advice of his coach, avoided a submission hole at all costs, and that's what he did. He fought out of every time he was put in the label lock, even that one from the top rope. That was not unexpected that time. Elijah Douglas was playing possum at the perfect time to try and get Billy Morgan, but Billy Morgan was able to fight out of it and hit him with a beautiful sky high to put him down for the one two, and three. That was what you want to see from competitors like these. Able to use any move in their arsenal to get the big win. And Billy Morgan moves on to the Money in the Bank ladder match. It is now Billy Morgan, Malcolm Tyson III, and Bruiser Owens in the ladder match. And for our main event tonight, we will find out who's going to be that final participant between Brian Adams and the bad boy, Jason Watson. put me in an unsafe work environment. I wanted a wrestling match, not a damn hardcore match. I don't even use weapons. I'm a wrestler. I'll sue you, this company, if I don't get this rematch. think you're doing that's my vending machine you don't see my name on there it's right there You want to know why I'm here? In the back. Because the GM hates my American values of eating healthy, training hard, and talking shit. That is my way of life. And for the record, he didn't want me to expose his deadbeat company last week. So he cut my mic off. I just want to get that out there real quick. And... I survived Devin Legrand. I beat down Keith No Action Jackson. And now the Schuler Star Spangled Spectacular will continue. I don't need to be 100% to beat no man because I'm the champ that runs this camp and I will prove it. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the Ryan Schiller Star Spangled Spectacular. This is an open challenge where he issues a United States Open Challenge to anyone in the MCW roster. And the man who answered the call is none other than the most sophisticated, the most intelligent man in all of MCW, Dexter Anthony Boyd. 
This man has two PhDs and one master. He has a PhD in business. He has a PhD in calligraphy arts, and he has a master's in ring in psychology. I cannot wait to see what he does inside the ring. He knows that Ryan Schiller is not 100, percent but he wants to take full advantage of this. And the fans completely hate him, and I do not understand. I completely agree. When I spoke to him in the back, he was completely arrogant as fuck. He left it in alphabetical order the ways he can beat Ryan Schiller. And the fact that he thinks that is amazing. He must not know what Ron Schiller did, does for NCW. He must not understand what the American Snapmare means here in the Lone Star State of Dallas, Texas. And he's going to find out in this open challenge when he goes one-on-one with him for the United States Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the American Snapmare. This is Ryan Schuler. He is the proud and defending United States champion, and he's decided to come down to Dallas to defend his title in front of all these true Americans here that's in this stadium here in Dallas, Texas. Ryan Schuler has been a proud and defending United States champion. He has been defending that title against the likes of Devin LeGrand, and he just defended it against Keith Jackson, and which was a brutal match that Ron Schuller was able to escape the win, escape with the title win in both occasions. I cannot wait to see what he do against Dexter Anthony Boyd in this United States Championship match. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 216 pounds, Derek Anthony Boyd. Introducing the champion from Seattle, Washington, weighing in at 206 That is what you call fan support. These fans are chanting USA to the United States champion. This is what you want to see. This is what it's going to be. This could be the last time he's looking at this title. Ryan Schiller is still not a 100%. He has been defending that title nonstop, and he wants to continue the Star Spangled Spectacular here tonight. And that's what it's all about, the NCW United States Championship. This will be the first time that Derek Anthony Boyd becomes the United States Champion. This could be the time that Ron Schiller loses the title. And here it is. Both guys go. And Der oh, Derek Anthony Boyd is now outside the ring getting separation from Ron Schiller. He knows he cannot go early on to the match. He lacks experience, but he is showing cowardice. And if you like that type of stuff, I guess that's you, me. I think he's a bitch for doing that. And there goes Derek Anthony Boyd. Oh, that elbow shot to the face. D.A.B. is fully in control of Ryan Shaw. Oh my goodness, what a European, uh, what a European uppercut that time. Oh, nice little kick to the side of the face. Ryan Shaw is down on the ground, and he is not done. He's picking them up, getting them down with a nice snap man. He's trying to snap man pin the American snap man. One, two, oh, Ryan Shaw kicking out the count of one. He is not going to go down to a snap man. Ryan Schiller invented this type of stuff. Here it is. And here it is running with it. Oh, nice running knee that time into the jaw of Ryan Schiller. Schiller is now in a bad position. He is down on the ring. Get him up. Get him under. Uh oh. Here it is. Oh, boy. And there he goes with a quick scoop. Oh, my goodness. What a maneuver. Here it is. One, two, and three. Oh, hitting a, a modified kill switch that time. Beautifully done by DAB. Look at this, stomping him down, working him down on the ground. This is what you want to see. Dexter is in full, Derek is in full control right now. Look at this, wrench in the arm. He's going right after the injured arm of Ryan Schuller. This is what you need to do. This is for the United States Championship. You cannot have honor in these type of matches. You need to do what you can do to get the win. And I don't blame this man. Oh my goodness, he just kicked him in the side of his injured arm. What a, what a dastardly thing to do. 
Look at this. Oh, Ryan Shula now fighting back. Oh! Oh, look at these combinations, these strikes, and he's not done yet. Ryan Shula getting him to the top rope. Looking for a springboard. Oh, my goodness, what a kick off the score of DAB. And Ryan Shore going to that second rope, and he's looking for the best move saw ever. Hit it perfectly. This could be it. One, two, and three. Oh, DAB able to get the shoulder up. Man, those PhDs is not coming in handy in this match right here. Look at this kicks him in the leg, kicks him in the chest. Nice elbow shot, nice spinning heel kick. This is what you want to do. With the four hours whip, working DAB off the ropes. Ryan goes under, he goes over, he goes over, now he goes under. This is what you want to see. Grabbing over, nice counter by DAB, able to kick Ryan Schiller away. Turns him up and under with a northern right suplex, but no, he still got the whole clinch. And he's looking for a brain buster. Oh my goodness, on the neck of Ron Schiller. He is still not 100%. Here it is. One, two, and three. Oh, Ron Schiller able to kick out of a near fall. DAB is in full control. I need to look at that. Targeting, targeting the injured back. Another knee shot. Oh, nobody harmed Ryan Schiller. Able to sidestep it. Get out the way. And that's what he did. Look at this. Looking for a beautiful. Oh, my good Standing vertical suplex. Exactly where he wants him. And Ryan Schiller looking to time this in with a Schiller super kick. And here it is. Oh, my God. Off the skull. This has to be it. Ryan Schiller with the cover. One, two, three, Ron Shaw with a big win. Successfully defending the United States Championship with pride and honor. This is what you want to see. But DAB sure did bring it to Ron Shaw. Look at this. Look at this kill switch. Able to sit there and swing the momentum in his favor. But somehow Ron was able to get the shoulder up and kick out of that near fall. But this is what impressed me. Dad was able to sit there and work the injured ligament of Ryan Schiller. He did not give a damn if it was dirty. He just went to walk out with the title. This is one another reason why I respect Ryan Schiller. Ryan Schiller is out here defending his title week in, week out, because he wants to keep the Star Spangled Spectacular going. I have no idea who Ryan Schiller is going to defend that title next week when we go to Atlanta. I have no idea, but it's going to damn near be interesting to see. And I thought it was going to put him away with that spinning brain buster that time. But Ron Schiller was able to hit that super kick and get the big win. And retain the United States Champion. This is what a true United States Champion do here on Warzone. And Ron Schiller is representing the American way his American way as proud as he can here on Warzone. For months now, I've beaten, I've been fighting for respect and acknowledgement for my peers. I've beaten the best currently. Hell, I survived a steel cage with the bad boy. I finally get my opportunity to championship. When I'm fully healed, I will be the first Canadian born United States champion, and that's a deal you can bet on. As Mr. Money in the Bank, I've beaten the Hall of Famer twice. So how about him? No, no, you can't. You see, you're the only two people who walked on water, and I, Malcolm Tyson the Third, was one of them. You see, I am the only one on God's level, and in heaven, heaven is where my level is. And I told all of you years ago, nobody can touch me on that microphone, in that ring, and I meant it. And I'm going to prove it. How? How I'm going to prove it? I'm going to walk in to that Money in the Bank match. I'm going to climb that ladder, grab down the briefcase, and stand on top of the ladder, holding that Money in the Bank briefcase as everybody in that arena look up to the prince 
of MCW. And when, 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 when I went, my first order of decree would be to never, ever step foot in that dry, unpopulated city that y'all like to call Dallas, Texas. And my second order of decree would be the world's heavyweight champion. And remember, peasants, this is my dynasty. And ladies and gentlemen, here it is for our main event for the evening. This is Jason Watson versus Brian Adams for the Money in the Bank qualifying spot, the last spot. This is our main event. The bad boy versus the future of life. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the Belgian bad boy himself. He does not give a damn about the people in the front row. He doesn't give a damn about the people in the back seats. He doesn't give a damn, damn about the kids in elementary school. He doesn't give a damn about the preacher in church. This is the man that only cares about him. He will stab on anyone to get ahead anywhere. This is the bad boy, Jason Watson. Ladies and gentlemen, it is official. Brian Adams is about to compete in his first ever MCW match. The future of flight is now here in MCW. Who's going to make that ratings fly tonight? Because he's going one on one with the bad boy in the main event. Brian Adams is a very is a very experienced veteran in the main event. He has main evented more shows than half the people in the MCW roster, overseas and in different organizations. And he's gonna bring that experience, that flight mentality, that know-how here in MCW. And his first match is gonna be against the bad boy, Jason Watson. We're gonna have the future of flight versus the bad boy here in MCW, our main event, this is a first time ever. This is a pay-per-view quality match, and we're getting it here tonight on Warzone. And here we go. Both guys are getting ready. This is for the Money in the Bank qualifying spot. The bad boy, Brian Adams, hit in the ring face to face. Both guys are looking at each other. Harsh words to say by Brian Adams, but in the ring, Jason, 
Watson sat there and demonstrated what he's going to do, and he's telling him to come off and break. Oh my God! Slap him in the face. Now that's all oh, Jason Watson with a right hook in his arm. Look at us kicking Brian Adams in the chest. Oh no, he's just hit him in the jaw. Counted by Brian Adams. Brian Adams is not going to go down easy. Both guys are going at it. Nice right hook by Jason Watson. Jason Watson grabbing the hair. He does not give a damn. Oh my goodness, what a knee to the face of Brian Adams. Jason Watson is in full control right now, and this is what you need to do. You need to keep the guy grounded, and he's down there doing it. He's working the legs. Look at this, Brennan working down the legs of Brian Adams. This is what you want to see inside of a squared circle. Look at this, got him a nice little lock that time, and he's going right back again after those damn legs. The bad boy is making sure that Brian Adams is not going to walk out this damn arena. Look at this, oh my goodness, again. Elbow shots, you can just feel the pain. Oh my goodness. If you take, if you, and look, if you cut off the frog's legs, how the hell is he gonna jump? And look at this, Brian, and look at this, Jason Watson is taunting in the face of the fans, knowing damn well what he's doing, and he's loving it. Look at this, kick in the face of Brian Allen. Brian Allen is supposed to be the most experienced man here in MCW, but Jason Watson took that as disrespect. Look at this, kicking him again, shoving him around, stopping him on the ground. This is what you want to see. Well, no, Brian Adams, oh! European uppercut, Brian Adams, oh my god! What a right shot, right shot again! Spinning heel kick, working Jason Watson down, and there it is! Elbow to the face, kick to the leg, into the jaw! Brian Adams is now back on top! Look at this, Brian Adams sending the full weight of his body into the face of the bad boy. Kicks him in the chest, another shot, oh wait, got caught by the bad boy, and the bad boy with an elbow of his own. He is trying to knock out Brian Adams, but Brian Adams again, fighting back, elbows of his own, nice cut, uppercut to the midsection, kicks him, trying to roll away, but got caught, but the bad boy is still, oh he just missed his rock kick, Brian Adams didn't take advantage of it, oh that snap near that time. Kicks him in the back, but the bad boy is not going down. He's showing him how you truly do a snap man. Look at this, now he's focusing on the arm. Brian Adams is trying to fight from underneath, but it's just not working. Look at this, he's getting at him. Jason Watts, oh my God, that stiff shot. That stiff shot to the chest of Brian Adams. His chest has to be down there, Ray. Look at this, and now look at this, Jason Watson again is now working down Brian Adams, and he's stopping the arm. He is making sure the future of flight is going to have no future tonight. Look at this, Jason Watson tops him up. Oh, oh boy, he's getting him up. Here it is, spinning, oh my God, it's spinning brain buster. This has to be it. Let's recount one. Two, it's three, oh, Brian Adams able to kick out of that near fall. Jason Watson is a little bit upset, but he doesn't give a damn. He wants to put more pain. Oh! Nice time by Brian Adam. Adams. Able to sit there and guillotine the leg. Kicks him in the chest. Ooh. Oh my God, Brian Adams. Oh, right here is the shot. Into the jaw. Brian Adams got Jason Watson in a bad position. The bad boy's down. Oh my God. Jumping elbow. Kick his knee up. Here is one, two, three. Oh, Jason Watson getting the shoulder up. How is this man staying in the goddamn match? Brian Adams, he can use everything. Oh, springboard that time. This is what the future of flight likes to do. Oh my goodness, working on his legs that time. There it is, Brian Adams getting the bad boy up to his feet. Kicks him in the midsection. Oh my goodness, what a heel kick off the face of Jason Watson. There it is, Brian Adams again. Showing power, hitting that Mitsuruko driver. One, two. Three, oh, Brian, oh, Jason Watson trying to get the, was able to get the shoulder up. Oh, my God. Jason Watson looked tired. He looks out of breath. He just got, just got caught off guard with an onslaught of maneuvers. Uh oh the bad boy. Oh, my God, that right shot. Look at this. Look at this. He has to be feeling. He's going right back down to the arm again. He needs to keep him down. This is what I talked about earlier. When Brian Adams get his offense going, he gets on the aggressive, and he's going to try and hit that big move out of nowhere. And Jason Watson is trying to keep him down. And he just to the chest. Kick him to the chest again. Sweep the legs. Keeping the future of flight grounded. Uh-oh. Jason Watson going up top. Double foot stop to the chest of Brian Adams. This could be it right here. One, two, three. Oh, Brian Adams able to get the shoulder up. How is he down there in this one? Oh my God.
Brian Adams trying to get the shoulder up. And now Jason Watson is trying to stay on the assault. Looking for a power bomb. But no. Brian Adams fighting out of it. Pushes him away. Uh-oh. What is he looking for? Getting him up on the feet. Nice hurricane on in that time. Showing off to the fans what wrestling is all about. Oh, what Brian Adams is planning on doing. He's on the outside of the ring. He's about to fly. Brian Adams dives into the outside. Nicely done by the future of flight. Falling backwards with no fear. This is what you want to see from Brian Adams. Both guys are down. Whoever gets up in this situation will get a huge advantage. This is for a money in the bank qualifying match. We have the future of flight versus the bad boy, Jason Watson. One of these men is going to move on and go to the ladder match at Under Siege. Which one is it going to be? Oh, Brian Adams looking for that corner screw. Nobody home. Jason Watson able to get out the way. Picks him up. And here it is. Looking for the power driver. Oh, my God. Next first into the canvas. Here it is. Going on the money in the bank. One, two, three. Oh, my God. How the hell he kicks out? Ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea how the hell is Brian Adams kicking out of these onslaughts. I think Jason Watson is losing his goddamn cool. He's looking underneath the ring. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. He just introduced the steel ladder here. Ladies and gentlemen, he has to be careful. Disqualifications is on in this match. If he gets disqualified, he will lose his opportunity. Jason Watson has lost all his goddamn composure. Look at this stomping Brian Adams down. He just hit him with a power driver, but Brian Adams was able to just kick out of it. I have no idea. He put down so many. Oh, my God. What a, what a back. Oh, my God. What a back suplex to a neck breaker on the damn ladder. He is trying to inflict as much pain on Brian Adams as possible. Here it is. Jason Watson getting Brian Adams up to his feet. I was whipping him into the corner. He's in a very bad position. Oh my God, with a right shot that time. Kicks him in the chest. Oh my God, kicks him again. Look at this, taking his time. Getting him up again. Looking for a right shot. Connecting with shots in the corner again. He's trying to knock out Brian Adams. But Brian Adams will not go down. There it is, Brian Adams with an Irish whip. Got him on the other side of the goddamn ring. Oh, what's Brian Adams planning on doing? He's getting Jason Watson up on the top rope. This is a bad position. Oh, my God, with a right shot. Both guys are fighting. No, no, no. Does it? Oh, 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 the on the damn ladder. Oh, my God. Jason Watson just crashed on steel. No, Brian Adams on the top rope. He's about to fly. There it is. Corkscrew splash. No fucking way. One, two. Three Brian Adams with a big win in the main event of Warzone. Both these guys went back and forth here in the main event. The bad boy Jason Watson would not have given up on his onslaught. He tried everything he can to break down the future of flight Brian Adams, but it just damn near didn't work. And Brian Adams did everything he can in his match to keep that offensive pace in his favor. But I have to give credit to Jason Watson because he did everything he can to slow his pace down. But Brian Adams was just too much here in the main event of Warzone. Both these men went back and forth. Look at this double foot stop. I thought this was going to be it right here. He was able to make the bad boy fly. This is what Brian Adams uses inside the square circle. He elevates other guys. Both of these men truly did everything that they could to each other. The fact that he kicked out of his power driver is what shocked the hell out of me. This was the moment that had me reeling in this damn match. Jason Watson put down a lot of people with that damn power driver. Uh-oh. Here it is. Oh, both guys are looking at each other. You got to be careful. We don't know what the hell's going to happen. Oh, he's offering him a handshake. And he just shoved it aside. He is pissed off. And I don't blame him. That was a, but that was still a hell of a match. This was one hell of a main event here on MCW Warzone. I have been your commentator for the evening. Thank you for watching. Wait a minute. I received word. Sir, Mr. Sepsi, you're under arrest for the assault of Beast inside that ring. I have an arrest warrant for you, and you need to come with me down quickly to the office. We have to get this assorted. If not, you're going to expect jail time. So come on.
A pound sub Z has just got arrested by an officer. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching MCW Warzone. Stay tuned to the next episode. Thank you for watching. I would love to give a special shout out to these guys right here for participating. Tune in for the next episode and so long.